Education was my first priority, but it was far from my only one. For too many Arkansans, the thought of taking your kids to the park or stopping at a gas station at night is a scary one. The reason is simple. Some of our leaders think it is compassionate to coddle criminals. Frankly, they need a reality check. I've been to the southern border, and I've seen how Joe Biden's compassion lets the cartels traffic millions of people in deadly drugs into our country. Just last week, Arkansas State Police seized half a pound of fentanyl in a routine traffic stop. That is enough to kill a hundred thousand people. A town that is bigger than all of the population of Fort Smith, Arkansas. And we've read far too many reports here in Arkansas about what violent repeat offenders who are sentenced to decades in prison let out early and then go on to commit other crimes. This isn't compassion, it's cruelty, and we've had enough. Yes, sir. Last week, I thanked 40 Arkansas Guardsmen before they headed out on a mission to our southern border. They know the gravity of the security and the humanitarian crisis that we are facing, and every single one of them volunteered to go on that mission, many for their second time. Last year, the legislature passed and I signed Death by Delivery, which charges fentanyl dealers with murder if the drugs they traffic cause a fatal overdose. And we came together again to pass the PROTECT Act. No more catch and release of violent repeat offenders in Arkansas we will keep the most dangerous criminals off of our streets. And we're paving the way to build a new 3,000 bed prison. And in the meantime, we have opened up 1,000 beds in our existing capacity to take pressure off of our local jails. <laughs> Arkansas State Police are on the front lines of that effort. It's why I allocated $3.8 million in my budget to replenish their ranks. When we think of our state troopers, we often think of them chasing down criminals or launching drug busts. And that's certainly part of the job, but it's not all Magnum PI. Late one night this January, Trooper Brandon Bird was on patrol on Interstate 40. He came across an older man sitting in his vehicle and out of gas. Bird sat with the man as he called a family member who couldn't come to pick the gentleman up until the next morning. So Trooper Bird drove the man to the nearest hotel. And when they got there, he found out that the elderly gentleman had no money. So he paid $100 out of his own pocket for the man to have a warm room for the night. Brandon felt like he was just doing his job. But the reality of the situation soon sunk in. It was dark and it was cold. And the man had no gas. If Bird had not been there, the man likely would have frozen to death. Trooper Bird is with us today, and I want to thank him and all of our law enforcement for their service to our state. Brandon, could you stand up and be recognized? Brandon's story is remarkable, but it's not uncommon for the exceptional men and women of the Arkansas State Police. 
when the left calls to defund the police, remember that these are the troopers that they want to get rid of. Remember that we do not need less of Trooper Bird. We need a lot more like him. That's why we've increased state police ranks by more than 17% in just one year since I've taken office. And it's why I'm working to grow the force by more than 100 additional officers. Send me a budget that funds our police and I will sign it.